Fighters are in the ring and they are ready. Manchester, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world exclusively on Sky Sports, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get it! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with red, official weight, 8 stones, 9 pounds, 10 ounces. An outstanding professional record, 32 victories including 24 wins by knockout with 5 defeats. From Alcante, Comunidad Valenciana, España, the challenger, former bantamweight, world champion, La Sensación, Kiko. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with gold. Officially weighing in at 8 stone, 9 pounds, 12 ounces. As a professional, 30 victories, including 22 wins by knockout without a loss. He has two draws. From Bury, Lancashire, England, the reigning, defending, undefeated, WBA Super Bantamweight. Champion of the world, Scott Well, Scott Quigg's got that glint in his eye, hasn't he? But so has Kiko Martinez. Very, very motivated for this one. But if you want an expert view from a man that's boxed both of these fellows twice, you have to go to Leicester for that one. Randall Monroe, the old European champion, beat Kiko Martinez twice back Second in the day. Out, round one. His first fight with Scott Quigg ended on a cut in the technical decision Quigg won the rematch in this arena but Rendell's view is very simple only one winner in this one, it's Scott Quigg he's too smart, he said but the key is, you must not let Kiko Martinez set his feet, because if he plants those feet and starts throwing, you're going to feel it I think that is the danger, that Scott Quigg just gets drawn in a little bit you know, he loves the fight, he loves the tear up got a lot of pride, but he can box to orders and he will be Joe Gallagher would have done as he always does and studied everything he possibly can about Martinez look at this loading up right from the get go here Martinez and he'll do this for as long as Quigg allows him to do it he does not have reverse gear he just charges around the ring in pursuit of his opponent looking to land bombs and that's what they've worked on in training obviously in the Gallagher camp it's just been pressure, pressure, pressure. You mentioned about the pressure earlier on Kiko Martinez. You know, if he loses this one, where does he go from here? And you talk about his motivation, Glenn. I mean, there are reports that in addition to being tied up with Sergio Martinez, he's just signed with Al Heyman, the uh, influential American advisor as well. So that's a, a statement of intent from Kiko. He's far from finished. That's how he sees himself. And he's looking for big fights on the horizon as well. He's got to get through this one first. Well, he started very well. He's got quick on the, the back foot. He's landing with punches. He's covering up. He looks full of bad intent, doesn't he? And this is typical of Kiko Martinez. Quick keeping a tight high guard. Managing to catch a lot of these shots that are coming in from Martinez on those gloves. He's a little bit reddened around the left-hand side of the forehead, so punches all getting through like that. Good jab from Martinez. Quick look at a right-hand counter there. There was an opportunity. Just a little glancing shot. Martinez strong and compact. Quig loves those hooks to the body. He's going to take something a bit special to get Martinez out with one of those. He 
keeping the pressure on here, Kiko Martinez. And it's Quig that misses with the right hand. Yeah, it's just all in reverse. He needs to start throwing something to stop the, the onslaught because, you know, that's just going to give Martinez a lot of confidence. He's looking very strong and uh, an excellent first round. So Quig needs to get something back. Getting caught with silly shots there. Left hooks landed. Setting a ferocious pace already, Kiko Martinez. James Cottrell wrote on the Paddy Power Facebook wall, tied to the top of that leaderboard, Paddy. Well, we hear you, James. Things can change very quickly on Paddy's course. You've joined us on the fourth, Moby Dick's Blue Hole. He's looking nervous here, but luckily at Paddy Power, we pay more extra places on golf than any other bookie. He's hit that well. Great line. It's safely over the water. Is it up the tail? It is, you know. Oh, get in that blue hole. Yes. We pay more extra places on golf than any other bookie, which means more winning golfers for you. Bet now with Paddy Power. That's right, hang on. One shot to the body at Boris Down, okay? Well, cuffed around the head with several shots from Martinez. Good jabs landed, and that was not a good start from Quick. Whether that was a plan to let him just start punching, punching and getting his shots off and feel the weight a little bit first, but that wouldn't be what I would have told him. Well, Martinez comes out even faster at the start of this second round, if that's possible. And he is going to give Scott Quigg a thorough examination tonight. Can the Berry Man stand up to this? That's a bit better. And Quigg finally catches him, and down goes Martinez! And the legs are wobbly! And he's off, though. He's off. Well, Joe Gallagher said he thought it could go early because Martinez does make mistakes. Is it going to go spectacularly here in the second? Quigg just teeing off. And Martinez shipping a lot of punishment here and nailed again. Quigg is making an enormous statement tonight. Terrific barrage of punches. He looks over us. He doesn't know where he is. He has no idea where he is. And Terry O'Connor is quite right. He waves it up. What about that? What a statement from Scott Quigg! Well, that was excellent, wasn't it? Bad first round, didn't know what quite he was thinking of, but all of a sudden, sprung into life with big punches. And what a finish when he let the punches go. No way was Kiko Martin Martinez going to get through that. No way. He was just going to continue hitting them. And that is a big, big statement. And, and the inevitable Quig Frampton discussion and debate goes on and on and on. Let's make the case right now. Scott Quig just did something Carl Frampton wasn't able to do. Demolished Kiko Martinez in two rounds. And it's interesting, talking to Joe Gallagher in the week, he said, Kiko does make mistakes. We might be able to get him out of there earlier. Gallagher's been proved spot on. And yes, he might have enjoyed a bit of a rocky opening session, but those mistakes did come, and when the opening came, look at what Quig did with it. Yeah, well, any argument of not being a proper champion, he answered it there. He's a proper champion, all right. Doesn't matter what the belt, doesn't matter what they call it. He's a top of the world, world champion. Beautiful uppercut. He realized straight away that he'd hurt him. And then look at the, the finish. Just was not going to get him off the hook. Straight away, let, let everything go. Now, this is hunger. This is the way to finish a fight. And that is a way to shut up any critics you may have. Martinez was up. Was that uppercut started it all. Wicked shot and Quig knew it. But excellent. Excellent finishing. You know, he was just going to throw a barrage of, pun barrage of punches and not letting them off, really letting the shots go. This is what it's like. This is how you got to get a, a man out of there. You know, stubborn resistance, Martinez getting his hands up. But look at Quig, non-stop. He's just not going to let in. He's going to get him out of there. And he did in fine style. And this, Glenn, right in front of us, we could see in his eyes he had no idea where he was. Look at him, he's just looking around, trying to find a rope. That's the, the fighter instinct in him, trying to get up. 
And Terry O'Connor's looked at him and gone, no, not going on. And rightly so, rightly Absolutely. so. He really struggled to get up. Terrific statement, terrific win. And people's going to be talking about Scott Quigg now as one of the best out there. Well, just a stunning performance this. Absolutely stunning from Quigg. And there are the critics, there are the, the armchair warriors, the keyboard warriors. They're trying to qu decry Scott Quigg and his achievements. But what are they going to say after this? He's absolutely destroyed the former champion here, Scott Quigg. And nowhere to go but down by Kiko Martinez. Down and out. And Quig has stunned everybody, maybe even himself, stopping Kiko Martinez in two rounds. That is the face of a world champion. And how much better and bigger could it yet get for Scott Quig? Now, terrific took his opportunity, one little punch changed the fight all together from being in reverse gear from being under a little bit of pressure early in the fight from Martinez he then got his little uppercut on and when he did, that was it he was never going to let his man out of there